were given the career mode beta, weren't weren't you? You you yes. only got the career mode. So I just want to touch a little bit upon that since yeah. it's what you were given. Yeah. What has changed? What's new in it? Come on then. What what, <laughs> what have you seen well, that's new? Just um, in general. Um, in general, the obviously we all know about the um, oh, the, what's it called? The the training from last FIFA has a lot. There's it faced a lot of critics and a lot of people liked it as well because you'd be able to get like a 50 rated player up to 90 rated if you just literally trained him for like four seasons which is which was pretty cool because you could get some unknown player up to like world class standards but it was a lot of people thought it was overpowered which I personally didn't think so because often you'd once you'd finished training them they wouldn't grow which I'm yet to find out obviously because um, I'm not even past the first season yet I'm nowhere near well, I've only played like three games of the Premier League so um so uh, there's no way I can find that out but um the actual the player growth system is is as far as I'm aware hasn't changed but they uh one little thing which I like is that you know when you've you'd simulate all the uh training sessions now rather than pressing okay and then you'd have to quit you just press advance and then it brings you out of it so it, rather than pressing two buttons you have to press one which is kind of nice um it's kind of lazy. That's me just being lazy and efficient yeah, and stuff. Anything to 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 <laughs> increase laziness levels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a better experience. But yeah, and what's what else is new? I'd say, um, mm, it's there's one thing that I don't like, and that is player ratings. And now, player ratings. I'm a bit confused because I booted up the FIFA and I started the career mode and. I, and I saw Courtois 86 rated, which was fine. But then I got in the first game, and after that, well, after I went through the game, he'd come out at 73 rated, which didn't make any sense to me. And I thought, well, is that due to the player morale? Is it to do with the actual stats? Is that to do with uh, his confidence? Is that to do with his actual average rating? I, I, I have no idea. And uh, I, I looked, and it wasn't his stats, thankfully. So he is he has still got the 88 reflexes and 84, 86 diving, I think he has, um, which is good. Um, but I, it's a bit confusing because when, also when you pause it, when you're in-game, you have Diego Costa at like 67 rated, which is weird. And I, I don't like it because you can't see player growth in that game, so to speak. So it's, it is stupid. But say, for example, well, my first goal in FIFA was in FIFA 17 was with Hazard. He started off at about 78 rated, I think it was. Then he got to 84 just from scoring one goal, which is interesting. But I don't, I, I don't know how that would work because would that work for both teams? Uh, it is confusing. But um, I'm sure EA will mention that further along the line and go into more detail. But I, I haven't played it enough yet to actually know if that will make a difference or not. But um, but yeah, that's also new. Um. <clears throat> I don't really know much else other than player transfers and it is ridiculously stupid. And the reason why I say that is linked to the last point I made, their player ratings. So for some reason, uh, those of you may know that Koulibaly is linked with Chelsea. So I inquired about him in the career mode just to make it a bit more realistic. And um, uh, basically, uh, his for some reason, his rating was 58 and he'd gone down 22 ratings, which is ridiculous. And I could sign him for 200, 275k. And I actually signed him for 275k. And it was, it was so weird. And I, I signed an 80 rated player for 700, 275k. And I, either that's a glitch or EA have got some serious, serious work to do with changing that because otherwise that's going to be stupid because like you you could have Diego Costing Diego, sorry Diego Costa underperforming for one game and it'd be like 60 rated and you can buy him for say if you're another team you could buy him for like 200k it, it, it would make it so unrealistic and I hope they get it get it out of career mode as quickly as possible um, because it just ruins the game because like you could buy Messi if you wanted to if he plays crap just by chance and you could buy him for like I don't know a million or something. It just wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense. But you know, do you think that could just be a a, a problem in the beta? It, it, I, I hope so. I do hope so because it it, it it doesn't make sense why they've done that. I mean, it would make sense say in like four seasons time in career mode because that would mean it would make it a lot more realistic because it would literally just be based on player form. But they can't do it in the first two seasons say because it it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be able to work because like off the first game you'd have a 
you'd have an amazing player who say will we'll score the first game, which would be good, and then the second game has doesn't score, and it'd go down like ten ratings, and it would just be stupid. It really would. But um, but yeah. So there you go. <laughs> that's that's yeah, that. That's just, what's changed. Just one last point on career mode. Have you done <laughs> anything with youth? Bringing youth. youth players up or training youth? Is there anything new to well, do with youth? Yeah, yeah, I mean, they've got the... Obviously, you have still have to buy the scouts and stuff. You have to pay, like, 2 million or 1 million or whatever to get the experienced and uh, uh, whatever. Judgment, that's the other one. Um, scouts and stuff. But the the difference is with the youth system is that the targets... Now, a lot of you will know from, I, from, from my last... Uh, sorry, two episodes ago from this series um, of podcasts, so my first actual episode, I put up a picture of the targets and um, you could see youth development uh for real madrid i think it was the picture was <clears throat> which wasn't by me i didn't take that picture with someone else and i've just got it from google actually uh, so so now the uh the targets you'd have to talk about is um you'd have to bring them up say so they'd give you a, a certain amount of players you'd have to bring up so uh, so for, for me at chelsea at the moment i've got three players i need to bring up um so i need to scout three players and then bring them up from the youth academy and then play them in i think it's five games um that season so it's quite it's quite nice. I mean, it's good that they're they're encouraging youth yes. development a lot more, which is which is good. So, um, but you wouldn't get that, for example, at Chelsea because that doesn't happen at Chelsea, which is annoying, and I hate Chelsea for it. But you know, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it is good. It, that is. You think do you, do you think that different teams that do that in real life, like Ajax, do you think that they've got larger targets for that? You well, you, you would think so. You would, well. you would think so, yeah. Because for for Chelsea at the moment is it's my um, it's the lowest priority uh, target at the moment, and my highest is uh, win the Champions League within two or three seasons. I think uh, it might be four. Um, uh, which which is that that's cool, but um, yeah, for Ajax, I, you, you would expect like Ajax, Feyenoord, and Genk. You would th- those type of teams because they produce the most ridiculous players. Um, you would expect them. Uh, I, I'll, I'll check and I'll, I'll see for next episode, maybe um, if I can. Um, but we, we'll have a look. But um, but yeah, I, you would expect that, and you would have thought because you know Ajax isn't Ajax is a team that makes money off their youth players. So um, <clears throat> which which is why they're one of the best teams in their league, um, and so do Feyenoord and so do Genk. Um, but yeah, so I, I, you would expect that the lower league teams would focus rather than on their winning the league within however many seasons, you would hope that they'd bring up youth development. That would be more of a critical target for them rather than lower priority like Chelsea would be, for example. So yeah, that that's... That's new with targets as well, isn't it? It's no yeah. longer a, a one-season target. You've got a target that can be achieved over many seasons. That is correct. And it is very good. <laughs> so you no longer have to play career mode and win the and play as Arsenal, Chelsea, United and win the Premier League every single season. You can try and make it a bit more realistic. Yeah, well, I, th- I, th- I, th- I, th- I think it's only for the Champions League because I, I, I am expected to win the FA Cup, the Capital One Cup and the league um in the first season which is which is weird but um but yeah yeah it is mental it's mental mate <laughs> but yeah so any any other questions yes can i shit myself like gary lineker on the pitch <laughs> <laughs> um um no <laughs> but i would like to see it <laughs> um <laughs> Just yeah, that'd be in, good. In, in pro career, I just play for England. I just take, just have a shiss on the pit. I don't <laughs> need to add that in FIFA. That that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a dive button and that. Yeah, that'd be good. That would be good. But, um, but yeah, okay. Is but that what's happening? Question to ask: What is happening for the second episode of the vodcast? Oh, the second episode. Well, well, we have a bit of a uh, surprise, and I will put a video up of a clue. Ooh. Oh. Of what's going to happen. So the next ep- so the next episode that will be uh, broadcasted, sorry, not broadcasted, uh, put up on my channel will be a clue. And uh, just to say, man, also yes, just to say at the end of this video, mm-hmm. just to say, you get to use every single game mode at the last three three um, three days before the beta ends. Yeah. Yeah, I just thought if you didn't know, just oh, me. I see. Oh, I see. You're telling me that. Oh, um. 
yeah, that'd be pretty cool but um that'd be interesting i'm in london next week which is awkward but um, <laughs> um which Sorry, is Matt, i'll do it for you <laughs> um <laughs> i can't do that you know that but um but um but yeah, the, the, oh, it's funny because with this beta thing, the amount of people that have said to me on like pro clubs and stuff, oh yeah, give me give me your details and stuff. I'll oh, let me play, let me share play, and it's like no, I can't. It's like it's illegal. Like yeah. uh, what, what was it? We were in the yeah. chat earlier and we saw people. Who was it that was broadcasting? Someone was like, it Dan? Like loads. Of, yeah, he's on YouTube. Oh, there actually. were plenty of people broadcasting mm. and putting yeah, stuff on YouTube, and yeah, most yeah, of the videos were being fun. taken down straight away from EA copyright. Yeah, yeah. What was what was it, Dan? You yeah. said that someone commented. Um, uh, uh, reported for uh, copyright infringement or something yeah, you're on the channel yeah. <laughs> he stopped broadcasting <laughs> it's just like oh god so um, for those of you that think why aren't I or, or wondering why aren't I recording footage why aren't I broadcasting that is why I do not want to get sued by EA because that can happen because you have to actually accept terms and conditions where you cannot broadcast record any footage or whatever um, so yeah I don't, I don't want to <laughs> I don't want um, to be fined any money so to speak with that so um that's the last thing i want i want to be able to have this opportunity again which i've already mentioned in the last episode anyway um but yeah so um we must have one more question surely before we wrap this up i'm not what are your overall comments about it then what do you think it's improved from fifa 16 uh yeah. yeah i think i think it's a massive improvement personally I, i i do think it's a genuine step up i mean with what was it what was the the the, the fifa that went it was a fifa 14 that went from fifa that went from ps3 to ps4 like that leap was generally impressive and now i think i think that's happened again with fifa 16 and 17 and it might be because they're used to the processing power of the new next gen consoles i suppose they're not really new anymore but the next gen consoles uh like the xbox one and the ps4 and i think they've finally gotten to grips with how how much they can demand of the processors and the actual consoles um so the actual gameplay is much more smoother they've well, one thing which is my favorite thing above all that i forgot to mention actually was that the new animations that they put in <clears throat> they have done the main animations like they've added new animations completely um as in like big ones so for example goalkeeper saves like f- from when the shot is hit there will be a new animation for the goalkeeper to save it uh, which is fair enough and which they always do for example with other players as well in that scenario um but what they have done is added lots of little new animations like stuff that you don't entirely notice but it makes a big difference because a lot of the time you'd get your players to flinch maybe and like say if you gave your player a command say you'd you're running one direction then you say sprint left all of a sudden they'd literally flinch and then sprint left and you'd see them there wouldn't be any in between animation because basically if we were to do that in real life our our wrist could break or something it would it wouldn't like the laws of physics stop us from doing that whereas now it's more realistic they've they've added the little inform uh, the little informations animations to make it more fluid in the way they run around the way they change direction the way they change feet and the way they dribble and just the rate the way they handle the ball and just all the things the way they run could be improved i think but that's always dodgy with the beta- the betas and demos and stuff but um because they always need to get that right but um but overall, I, I, I generally think it's a massive step up from FIFA 16. I really do. Really do. And I, I can't wait to try Pro Clubs as well, because that'd be amazing in VFL, especially with the low-driven shots, because if, 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 if you're playing an attacking position and the keepers don't have their new animations, <laughs> they are screwed. <laughs> so, because you can put ridiculous... Oh, yeah, another thing. You can... The layoff shots are a lot more powerful now. When you put the shots... When you... Okay, in real life, I'll start from the beginning. In real life, when you the layoff shots, when people shoot from layoffs, they're 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 able to get the shot a lot lower with a lot more power, and you can't do that on on FIFA 16. You you put more power on it from first time shots, and it would sky. Well, we wouldn't sky, but it might if you put loads of power on it. But it would go higher up. You wouldn't be able to keep it low on the ground. Whereas now, like real life, they the players change their technique, the way they hit the ball, the angle they hit the ball. And you can keep it down first time, and it is ridiculous how much power you can get on it, and it, it, it is great. So as, as I said again, rest in peace, keepers, <laughs> uh, for VFL next season. But um, but yeah, overall, brilliant. And uh, I, I think I think that is that. Are we good to wrap it up here? Yeah, I think we are. Yeah, for anyone Excellent. who's made it this far into this video, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, um, okay. So that is that, and uh, yeah watch out for my next video which will be a clue 
on the video next and it is a, it is a good thing that um you might not expect actually for uh, us gamers um but yeah it is a clue uh, there is a clue coming and uh, i hope i hope that you'd all uh watch out for that so um and yeah anyway so guys do you have anything to add before we wrap it up yes what i'm doing a giveaway on my channel <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Little Just shout out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anything from you, Chuck? Uh, no. Uh, well, I will be taking over some of the VFL videos now, so you'll see a bit more of me. Oh yeah. So that is that's VFL related, not uh, FIFA 17. Um, but yeah. So I've actually given Chuck more privileges on my channel. So uh, rather than you get the intro, like the intro today was uh, would have been uh, with me. Uh, my intro and then uh, I think the next VFL video to go up is actually Chuck's one and his intro will play so um, <clears throat> we, we'll be hosting it differently is, basically the host of the the recording gameplay will be different it's in English subtitles you do need English subtitles <laughs> <laughs> yeah right. then we'll, I, I will try and add in the subtitles next time I'll okay that, that's a bit of a spoiler um, which you guys will understand when Chuck releases his video but anyway uh, thank you so much for watching this vodcast um, it's really a podcast. You didn't really need to watch the video, but um, <laughs> I've just, just done FIFA 16. If you made it this far, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video if you can. Let's get it out there. Let's sh tell your friends about the new FIFA and uh, the new information. Because, yeah. Oh, your friends. <laughs> but yeah, tell everyone. Tell everyone. Don't care. Just do it. Get me out there. Um, but yeah, uh, it'll, be, it'll be, be awesome to see. But anyway, yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe, and share. And uh, I'll see you guys again soon.